This question, all my amazings, comes up a lot. And I just wanted to hop on here and answer this question. But before I do, you gotta come with me. You gotta go on a little walk. If you haven't already picked up Winner's Way Book, winnerswaybook.com, make sure you pick it up. So here's how this works. You first want to identify what is of interest to you. What do you want to sell? What are you looking to possibly get in business doing? That's the first thing you have to ask yourself. What do you want to do? What are you interested in getting in business doing? You have to ask yourself this. This is not something where I can say, yes, you should sell janitorial. <laughs> you should sell auto parts. You should sell antibiotics to, for animals. What's up everyone, KB, love them. I thought I would just hop on here, harvest. Just impromptu and answer, what do I sell? The question comes up all the time and I'm so grateful that each and every one of you are here. And if you haven't already, check out ProfitableContracts.co, ProfitableContracts.co. So we live in a society and we as people, we like to be told what to do. We sincerely do. However, comma, we're talking about business. So if you're the type where you're like, listen, I really just need to be told, I don't know. What's up? I love all of you, Joel, Faint. And also, y'all, again, this is like my third time using <laughs> this platform. So, uh, Judith, what's up? Uh, we should let me play. Oh, wow. Look at Carlock. Carlock is like going in for it. He wants to play in the curls. Y'all crack me up. So, um, so please keep the comments, keep the questions. You know, I love doing Q&A and I'll be live on TikTok tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're like, I just don't know, I just want to be told what to do, you can buy a company. That's an option. You can buy a company or buy a company that sells to the federal government. That's right. I am Zeus and um judith thank you so much and missy so you can buy a company you may say well i don't have the money for that that's not what i want to do okay so here are some things what do you like doing what is it what lights you up what is you're like man it would be so cool to get paid to do what are those things okay hold on i'm gonna put you all in here, you got it behind the scenes. I'm gonna put you in my stand. And for some reason, it's like extra cold in here today. So we're gonna just turn the air conditioning off for a minute. We're gonna turn it off. It's because I'm losing all this weight, which is great. Cause I still have like 40-ish mm, pounds to go. So I'm excited. Okay, you didn't come here to talk about my weight loss. You came here to make money. So here's the deal, y'all. I think the yeah, light's better here. Alexa, stop. So here's the deal. You have to ask yourself this. So when I first started out, I loved training, y'all. Ever since I was a little kid, I would train. I loved doing it. I loved like playing teacher. So it was a natural fit to be involved in projects that involve teaching. And I got paid a daily rate. People learned about me. That's how I um, got involved uh, in, in that area. So let's say that's you. So a woman in my training um, right now, and my GovCon winners all spent Edge 3.0, she's in training. She loves training, coaching, and then she found an opportunity for it, which is perfect. Yes, the government buys training and development. So you have to ask yourself, maybe you're like my uncle Mike, who's in my Facebook group, in case you're, whether you're in it or not, my uncle Mike was like, Kizzy, he's like, there, there's these opportunities for like 
putting tags on animals' ears and for, um, what was the other thing he found? Like medicines for animals. I was like, well, Uncle Mike, as long as you can legally sell it, why not? Because these aren't things we think about. People aren't on TikTok talking about, yeah, sell medicine for animals. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's really talking about the real estate. And my, vi my video with Nikki, I'm telling y'all, get ready for that video. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. And actually, another one of my coaching students found a awesome real estate opportunity to house researchers. These things exist. So if you're the type of person where you're like, oh man, I like real estate, look into real estate. The thing with the federal government, it's not a perfect match. It's not like, I'm a realtor, I sell single family houses, I'm gonna sell single family houses to the government. Or maybe you're selling temporary housing. Maybe you are housing victims of fire for FEMA. Maybe you're providing commercial real estate, but guess what? You don't have to own any of it. You're arbitraging. Maybe you're the person that's like, look, I will sell anything. Like Jensen, he recently won. You can see him on my Instagram. You can see him on my um, Facebook. He's even here under the community. He was randomly here in Tulum and we took a picture. It was so crazy. Like I literally saw him when I was leaving the gym because I know somebody asked about weight loss. So I follow Eddie Abnew's diet. Um, I'm actually doing some things where like today I only ate once and this isn't to brag and it's not saying this is something you should do. I'm just saying you asked and I work out five days a week because I'm on a mission because I let myself go and I let people take away my strengths and I was not the best version of me. So before I cry, let me go back up and answer these questions. Okay. Um, again, I appreciate you all being here. We sh Okay, we got that. Oh, okay. What if you were just wanting to help provide services with no specific industry? So the tip that I put out there is you go to sam.gov and then you click. I like to do small business set aside because that way you're taking this huge ocean you're, that has Raytheon and IBM and... Lockheed Martin and Boeing and Amazon and SpaceX, you're taking that and now you're only bidding against other small companies. According to the SBA, there are only like 64,000 small businesses. On average, not that many people bid. I was just reviewing today, randomly, this letter where we did not, you are not the winner, <coughs> said in my Mori voice, we didn't win this training with the Navy. It was the staff like admirals and it was really cool. We didn't win, but guess what? Two bids, the incumbent and us. And the only reason we lost was pricing. I think their pricing was 225 and I know ours was higher than that. So I don't want you to ever get discouraged. But what I want to encourage is you, you, you make it a smaller pool. So in sam.gov, advanced search, you go to small business set aside. And then what I literally, I teach us all the time. What I literally do is I then change the dates to three months and I just look. Because there are things that come up that I wouldn't ordinarily look and find. Why? Because I was, I was in the mentality of training. Let me look up the training makes. Let me look up the training makes. Like, let me look up the training makes. Well, I'm missing all this other stuff. You know, I think of like makeup a lot, Fenty, you think of um, Kylie, whoever your favorite makeup is. I know I've been, I'm like, who have I been? Oh, I've been, oh, I love Huda, Huda Beauty. I've been buying a lot of Huda Beauty and stuff. And the thing is they may start out with a lip kit, with foundation, maybe with eyeshadow. And then before you know it, boom, Kylie skin. And you know, Fenty got all her, she Riri got all her stuff. It's like, and then Hoda Beauty's got all her stuff. And the same way happens with the federal government. You may start out in one little area and then it's like, wow, look at all these things I'm offering. They're called verticals, okay? So that's why it's important to do that advanced search, small business set aside, and you look it up that way because then you can start to see the verticals. Okay, facility management, products, staffing, Maybe medical staff. You know, there's so much there. So, 
The other thing that's important is once you identify, okay, I'm interested in staffing, go to and, and check me, please check because my other, I do have other cell phones, but they're not charged. I believe it's NAICS, N-A-I-C-S. It's either .com or .org. So I don't want to send you to the wrong website because I used to work at a call center and back in the day it was uh, dicksportinggoods.com and it was before they purchased dicks.com and dicks.com was not what you wanted because people call me all the time. So please double check that for me and put it in the comments if it's nakes.com or nakes.org. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go to that website and then you type in staffing. You type in hotels you because you can flip hotels you type in whatever it is you type in and then it'll give you the NAICS code so you can also go into sam.gov and search by that NAICS but I want to warn you this is what happens oh Kizzy I'm so discouraged I looked up the things nobody wants it well because listen yeah people wear green lipstick but how often so if you're only offering to sell something that's so specific then you have to be aware that you're, you're just selling it in March. You better hook up with all the uh, St. Patrick groups and hustle that green lipstick, you know what I mean? Or maybe for Halloween, or maybe there's a segment of the population that's like, man, green lipstick is the thing. I'm not dissing green lipstick, I'm making the point. So if you're trying to sell something so specific, just be aware that your market may be so tiny. It doesn't mean it's not lucrative. Think of Hermes bags, like a, a Birkin bag. Hermes has a variety of things. They have belts, they have sandals, the little sandals with the H, and then y'all seen the bootleg ones. <clears throat> they have scarves, they have different designs of handbags, but a Birkin bag tends to be upward towards six figures. I've heard there's waiting lists. You can get refurbished uh, ones online but it's for a certain segment of the population. And that's okay, that's okay. But in this context of federal government contracting, I encourage you to sell all the things that you wanna sell. If you just wanna sell green lipstick, cool. If you wanna sell everything, cool. If you just wanna sell lipstick, all colors, that's cool too. So I'm gonna go back to your questions. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And I'm going to keep going through this. And I'm so glad you all are here. What's up, Rob? How can we research products other than the listed approved sources? Is there a certain paid for website? Not that I know of box office when it comes to products. You just, you got your, it's basic, listen, y'all, it's basic business. Supply, demand, supplier. And the supplier or manufacturer, they rule. There's no other way around it. If you're trying to sell ear tags and there's three manufacturers for these ear tags for cows and they tell you no, then where are you going to get the tags for the, for the cows? So just be aware of that. Do I fill up the solicitation and email it? Each solicitation is different. It is. Sam is an ocean. That's why you want little ponds. You want to create little ponds like and little puddles. You know, the, the more narrow, it, like the more narrow and weird, like for instance, I came across one today for sheep, I think sheep shearing or sheep herding or something with sheep. None of you are thinking about sheep. Okay, maybe two of you because I had that video, right? But you're pretty much, you're not thinking of sheep. So it's like bid on the things that people aren't thinking about because then you have a puddle. Just like the work in Haiti, I keep talking about this. I understand there's turmoil in Port-au-Prince. They had two opportunities at the airport for six months. I'm pretty sure you all could have won one and made a lot of money off of it because most people would be, I can't bid on that in Haiti. There's the gangs and this and that. There's other you, maybe you're like, Psh. think of the things you've been through in life. Like that ain't nothing. That would have been like, boop, like a little droplet of water. I bet you two people bid on that. Okay, so I do like taking photos during my lives of your comments because they're so amazing. So in case you see me doing that, that's why I do it. And then I repost them on Instagram. Okay, so I'm glad you like the book. Oh my God, you need to get some mods to handle the trolls. Oh, there's trolls. Oh, I didn't see the trolls. Hold on. 
I'm new to the page and really find the information very helpful. Thank you, I adore you. I actually wanna hear about the weight loss. Okay, I'll talk more about it as time goes on too. Since I've been here in Tulum, I've lost about 20 pounds in two months. Okay, I'm ready for it. I'm a realtor, got it. Real estate is what I wanna get into. Great, where did you find, where do you find what you could do that the government wants? Sam.gov. It's the easiest place to go, sam.gov. What's up, Jensen? I was just talking about you. And I just sent somebody stuff about you. Je dude, Jensen, I'm so excited to see you here. I'm so proud of you, dude. I am so effing proud of you. I hope you come back here. I mean, you got you got your life to live. <laughs> I just, I'm so proud of you. Okay, um, man, I need more water. Can we middle? Yeah, you can middleman state contracts as long as they don't say otherwise. So also like, what do you sell? You can also, here's another tip. You go on sam.gov and you drill down by the agency. I like going to weird agencies like Park Service, USDA, like agencies that people are like, because everybody goes to Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard. It's like, forget that. Go to places nobody, I mean, Coast Guard, nobody really thinks about them. No disrespect to anybody here who is or was in the Coast Guard. I would do that. Coast Guard, Homeland Security. What are you talking about? Okay, do we have to get rid of Peter? That's all right, might be a block party up in here. Thank you, I can be your mod to handle trolls. Okay, uh, I got randomly locked out of dibs. Were your friends locked out who happened to? So with dibs, you gotta contact them. I love real estate, but is nobody's explaining how to get into it. Okay, I'm. A, this is how you do it, Kenosha. You go to sam.gov, you put in the NAICS code for real estate, for rentals. So let me give you an example. There's an opportunity right, 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 right. I sound like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Right now, Wawa, I believe it's Wawa, Washington, or Walla Walla, Washington. They need housing for researchers that research beluga whales. Five, it's to host five people. I think it's a five bedroom house. They want it to be a house, a townhouse, a condo. They all want to live together. And then there's things that they want, like laundry, things like that. And I think they want the housing for five years. So what you do is you find the property. You put your mark up. You give them the information. Boom, you win. Bam. You just arbitrage somebody's rental. That's real estate with the government. There's more to it. The, you can offer, depending, maybe the government to buy something. There's the commercial side. There is um, property management because the government owns a lot of property. I've seen foreclosures. I've seen, um, what is that thing? Not audit. Uh, like, not an adjuster. You guys, you can put it in the comments where they look to see the value of the property. I can't think. My, I've, had a, I've had an amazing day, y'all. So um, they have a lot. That's how you do it. So I just explained it to you. Okay, one day at a time, that was weakness leaving the body. Okay. Curious cat. Curious cat. I'm so glad you're here. I'll be on, don't forget, I'll be on TikTok at 11 Eastern. I'm in love with knowledge. I'm in love with the Dr. Parks mindset. Thank you, Crown G. And I know there's a ton of comments, you all. I'm just going to say that. Do they always post when they choose the winner? No. I didn't know she had a book. I'll look into it. Yeah, Winner's Way book. Here, let me go grab it. Because in case y'all don't know, and you may not, I'm in Tulum, Mexico. I live in Mexico. The other day, somebody was like, I thought you lived in New Mexico. No, I live in Tulum, Mexico. I'm going to do a little sparkles. I'm sober. I have 11 years of sobriety, but you got to mix it up. I like having my topo in a sparkling glass, so... So we got the little topo here. How do you find contracts for a remote? Mm. Okay, so I've heard that come up a lot. I don't really know who's selling a remote call center class that apparently maybe a lot of you purchased. Uh, I don't really know about that, to be quite honest, at the federal level. So my mentor, listen, not sponsored, but if you are into lip balm, y'all need to get the big balm. Man, this, oh, this lip balm is so good. It's so good. I ordered like three of them before I moved to Mexico. I was like, I am getting these lip balms. It's so natural. It doesn't dry out your lips. So here's the deal. My mentor had a call center contract, which she hated. 
And that's the only person I know who ever had a call center contract. And I don't think she even had it that long. She, she truly hated it. So I, I don't really, I've seen at the state level, but I don't know a federal. Uh, oh, so is Eek like a, oh, that's what you mean by trolls. Okay, hit that person. Let me go down and then let me come back up. How do you find J? What does that mean, Sandra? What does the government, does the, go, no. The government doesn't pay you up front. Love your content, Dr. Parks. Is something, is contracting something you could do with a partner? You can do it, it Lauren, you can do it however you want. Joe, if the contract, it, it says set aside and only vendors in a certain area, is that, Okay, I would need more context. So for instance, I know somebody recently shared a RFP request for proposal that said you had to live, you had to be five minutes from the location. So, hey, Yosef, I'm glad that you're new. Simply Senora, Senora it's amazing here in Tulum. So um, Damien, I'm glad you're not missing the content. So that's, so you have to look at the requirement. There was another requirement I came across in Florida. I don't remember what it was for. This was like a couple years ago. And it was, you could tell it was rigged because it said you had to be within 30 minutes. And I was like, nobody says time because time is dependent on traffic and other factors. They would say miles or kilometers. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Uh, but you have to just check and that's state level too. The other thing of like, what do you sell? What should I offer? You have to also take in consideration what does the market want? Like during the Trump administration, diversity and inclusion training was made illegal. It was, he issued an executive order. So that's not the time to sell diversity inclusion training. Just like Christmas trees. Would you start selling Christmas trees right now? Like, hey y'all, this is the hot season. Spring, summer, let's go get some Christmas trees. I mean, you could. I don't really know how many Christmas trees are gonna sell in America. You know, it, so you also have to be mindful of the market. This is not alcohol, sparkling water, I have almost 11 years sobriety. But you gotta make it cute, you know? You gotta make it cute. Okay, let's see what else we have. How do I join the team? Montu, like what team? Facebook? Is there more room in your mentorship? Yes, merciful. Just. Uh, ah, thank you, appraiser, that was it. Thank you, Maria, that they have appraisal services that the government buys. And inspector, thank you all for that. Um, yeah, um, I, on here, I, ha I don't really know how I communicate back with you. I don't think I can. So if you go to, send me an email, Kizzy. Uh, actually, that's not even my email, y'all. So. I almost gave you the one I never use. K Parks at govconwinners.com or Melody, M E L O D Y at Kizzy Parks. Email Melody, it'll be faster. Melody at kizzyparks.com. Okay. Glad you just got your cage code. You guys are so sweet. Kizzy for mayor, that's sweet of you. There is a company, FGA, and they charge 7K to handle everything from finding the job, subcontractors. Listen, Johanna, or I mean, Joanna, I say try it out and tell us what happens. I mean, I'm being serious. Or send me the link. Maybe I do a video on it. I'm serious. People ask all the time, in addition to what do I sell, where's the easy button? Where is that easy button? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. Sparkling water, I'm sober, so don't get it twisted. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with paying 7G, but what are you getting for 7,000? Because in reality, that doesn't sound like a lot of money. If I, so you're telling me they win you a million dollar contract, they're only gonna charge you $7,000? I don't know, I don't know. And this, there's no judgment, but. 
<laughs> you know, the math is not mathing, but I could be wrong. You know, I don't even, I, I don't remember the highest class I took. I feel like I took trig trigonometry, maybe Calc 1. My subcontractor changed an, an available date to begin service. Our project is pushed back. Do cores frown upon this? Well, I mean, you put yourself in the position. If, if I'm like, hey, I'm going to paint your walls on the first of the month, and you're like, yeah, and then I'm like, nah, 10th. It's something that you, y'all are still here, right? Somebody, call, somebody called on WhatsApp, so I'm not trying to tell you my business. It's just, again, I'm new to this. I want to make sure I'm ebbing and flowing. Um, so this is where client relations comes in. Yeah, KB official, you go and join the Facebook group. This is where client relations is. So here's the, oh, it's Coach, Coach J what? Joel, Coach, I don't get the reference for Coach J. Explain to me because I'm kind of going back and forth on the comments. And listen, soon I'll have moderators, I'll have a camera crew. But listen, I'm, the woman is still, I'm still in growth period, right? You know, I'm still, I'm still like getting in my shots. I'm still going to the gym. I'm still like the first six minutes of the freaking game. Okay. Oh, good, Leo. Good, good, good. He wants to get a hold of Coach J. Thank you, uh, John R. Just Google him. Excuse me. In the video, I think he gives you all of his whole his handles. Oh, okay, Joel. Well, I see what you're saying. I'm I'm gonna keep it moving. But do I mean? Okay. Uh, Femi, yes. Do your your do your um. Registration ASAP. Somebody over here didn't realize theirs was expiring like soon. I was like, for real? I thought I just did this. So I did mine today. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? What is happening? I'm in the middle of submitting this huge 10 year con contract vehicle called PAX 3. And I was like, what is happening? So somebody asked a question. They said they bid 650 650 and I think you said no you received a quote for 600 and the award was for 450 so thorough I don't know if you know you sound like you could be a dude I, I don't really know dude stuff like that but I know woman stuff that wasn't even grammatically correct women things um so you have Shein, right? And you have a lot of stores like Shein that they now call like disposable clothing. There's actually a shop called Shein. I think it's called Shein. Yeah, Shein. Really close to Tulum. I'm not gonna lie, I like that store. It's cute. I go in there like, dang. So maybe you know Thorough, maybe you don't. Maybe the, the females here know. You can get a top on Shein for what? $5? You can get earrings for $2? Put in the comments. Let me know. Tell me tell me what these prices are. And you and, may, and, and you know, ain't nothing wrong with Shein. I like Shein. So, you know, you're paying a couple dollars. Fashion Nova. I don't know all of the names of these places. But the point is, you're buying clothing at beyond a fraction of the cost. So then another clothing company may say, how are they able to do that? Or maybe you as a consumer, you're like, how are they able to do that? Because yeah, Target and Walmart has really good deals, but not no Shein deals because those clothes are cute. I like those clothes from there and from Fashion Nova. But the point is they're able to do it and still make margin. So... In our mind, it may come across as, excuse me, I got quoted 600, how are they doing it for 450? How is it I can buy a dress on Shein for $3 and I can't buy a dress at Target for $3 unless it's for an infant? Just because we haven't figured out how to do it doesn't mean another company can't. Second, often, and this is something, they are cute, right Shein? Good. I'm glad somebody wrote on here. I feel like I had a lot of dudes writing. <laughs> like, uh, I'm like, nobody's running with my Shein thing, you know? 
Uh, anyways, that's all right. So the other thing is this, and this is something that I don't, maybe people talk about this in middleman trainings or, or stuff. I don't know. So listen to me. You contact me. Hey, Kizzy, we would love for you guys to do. I know she, there we go. There's my females. Woo -woo. And maybe you're like, Kizzy, we would like your company to do some training. So I would say our daily rate's 5,000. And then let's say you're like, okay, cool. Got you. And then you, you're like, you're going to add, let's say you're like, listen, Kizzy, I want a 50% profit. So now you're charging $10,000 a day for training and, and brace yourself. Some people may change, charge as much as $600 a day for training. But you think, oh, this is cool. I got a quote. I'm adding my cut. <clears throat> you can't compete. So that $600,000 it was the quote plus their margin plus your margin. It's like margin galore. It's like, shoot, imperial margin. And that gold box with that crown looking thing on it. Harvest. I believe it is. And I don't know how to message on here. <laughs> so I don't want to give you any links. I don't have a moderator. I know. I know, y'all. I'm getting there, you know? Just like with government contracting, I just act. I'm not going to wait to have everything perfect, have a moderator. I'll get to that point. There's going to be a point in time where it's going to be a beautiful set. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, share, all that. But right now, it's just acting, just like with government contracting. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to have a set aside. You don't need to know exactly what you want to sell. You just have to sell. I'm not, I mean, I mean it. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Jensen, if you're still on here, please tell them. They just need to sell. You have a male audience because you spit in that real shit. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, I do. I do. I got the Arthur Parks. My dad, man, my dad taught me, you know. I feel like I have more females on TikTok. But um, I, I'm help on this as much as I can on my side. Oh, thank you, Leo. Yes. Joselina, yes. This stays. My TikToks are only for my paid clients like Leo. The TikToks are being uploaded um, within the next couple of days. TikToks, no. Facebook, yes. YouTube, yes. Thank you so much for y'all talking about the book. <coughs> I went to subcontract a security offer. You want to, yeah, as long as you meet the requirements, do it. And I'm gonna go back up and come down. How long was it for you from start to your first? Um, okay, so Karen. And this is, and also, listen, y'all, because I honestly, I don't know. Can you buy badges on here? I don't know if you can. I can't remember from the last time I did a live and I had that whole technical thing when I talked about Chick-fil-A. So I'm not sure. Because if you can, if you buy a badge, I'm going to see your question and I'm going to answer it immediately. I'm just saying. Okay. No, Kizzy is not on OF. But I, that is quite funny. That's all right. You don't have to use TikTok. Don't worry. That's why I'm on all these platforms. So um, I was in graduate school at Patrick Air Force Base at Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute, and I was asked if I wanted to be a contractor. That's the short of it. I have a whole video on it. That's how it happened. So it was like that. Suppose work is done on day one. When should I, uh, I tell the government? Pay okay. So once the government approves whatever it is you had to deliver, you are typically paid 30 to 60 days. Well, Eric, if you want a badge, you'll get it. Think of the stuff we want bad. Partners, love, kids, dogs, cigarettes, shoes, purses. We figure out how to get those. Y'all figured out how to like scope out people on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest. People, y'all figured out how to homeschool your children. I mean, have you not taken the time to reflect on this? I know it seems like a decade ago, for me at least, but like, this is real talk. I don't have kids. I couldn't imagine working from home. You got this uh, the pandemic, you're dealing with life and you got to school your kids. And then you're wondering about how you gonna win a contract, please. Please, that ain't nothing. That is nothing. Y'all just need to take action. I'm an IT government employee. Get permission, Stephanie, and watch my video with Mr. Durr. Good. Order the book. Winnerswaybook.com. Winnerswaybook. Can you get net 10? Legacy. 
I mean, some agencies, some construction will pay you net 10, net 15, FAA, I heard, pays real fast. Okay, good. If you can do super chats and stickers and they pop up here on the vertical live, your question will be answered like that. Um, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just, you know, just, just keeping it real. Um, oh, good, good, good. See, thank you. Okay, merciful. Any advice on asking to get hired corp to corp and what should... I pay to ask if they initially, okay, merciful. So I'm assuming somebody's offering you and what pay should I ask for? Okay, so if they asked you for a hundred, so if I understand correctly, they were like, listen, we'll give you a hundred dollars. And when you say corp to corp, let's say hypothetically, it's curtain corporation and they say, merciful, we would love for you to provide service to us as a 1099. So your corporation, their corporation. And if that's the case, say, I would love to do it. I'm going to need, just throw out a number, 200 an hour, 150, 170. Give a number much higher because at least they're offering 100. That's still a lot of money. Unless like you're a brain surgeon then or something like that, then it's not a lot of money. But if, if it, it's in relationship to what you're doing, and so let me know, follow up with that and make sure I answered you, okay? Thank you so much for that. Hold on, let me go down here because I'm. This is that was beautiful. Oh, hold on. I get paid $300 an hour if that was an hourly wage, but okay, hold on. Hagen with the Bears. Any of you who are like, I don't know what to sell. I don't know what to call my business. I don't know. <sighs> I mean, you're not ready. I mean, you're really not ready and I can feel it. You're not ready. I am intuitive. I'm, I, I keep telling y'all whether you wanna believe it or not, I, that's on you, but I'm telling you, you're not ready. So when you're ready, you just go. Because the beautiful thing about a name is you can create a DBA. My business is K period Parks Consulting. You know how many people like gave me so much crap about my business? Oh, Kizzy Parks Consulting. I was like, it's not Kizzy Parks, it's K period. Oh, Parks Consult is not Parks Consulting. Oh, well, it sounds so small. What do you consult on? I was like, oh my God, this is a terrible. So then I created the DBA, KPC. And then when we were able to sell Pew Pews, which we can legally, I created another DBA, KPC Defense. You see where I'm going with this? Just take action, but when you're ready. This is not about what I want, what 19 wants, what Joshua wants, what Larissa wants. Hold on, Larissa's amazing here too. Uh, it's about you. What would you say to a sub who wants to know your margins? <clears throat> That's a really good question. Would you ask Elon Musk his margins? Say in a playful way, like, come on now. Would you ask, if I was Elon Musk, would you ask me my margins? Be playful with them. That's a crazy ass question. Okay, adapt to each situation. Okay, cool. Sorry about the shaky. I got my little stand, you know, I'm doing what I can do. What is your perspective on Apex? <laughs> Y'all know, my, my, it's, my TikTok people know. Y'all know I go hard on those apex people um you know you get what you pay for you know listen it's like with anything in life you have amazing people not so amazing people and people in the middle so hold on i think there was another one do i can i click that to see it hold on okay oh coffee there we go Thank you, Coffee, for the $2. I really appreciate that. So sweet of you. So, you know, Joshua, I am not. I have a PhD in just organizational psychology. So, um, you know, that's all I can say is, is it is what it is. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm a fan of Elon Musk. This, when I make examples like that, y'all, it's not to diss it. It's just like... Would you say that to somebody who is an Elon Musk type or somebody who looks like Elon Musk? And again, this is not about Kizzy playing the race card. 
Look, don't forget I'm biracial. It's about like sometimes people say things because they think it's okay. So I call people out in a loving way. Like I said, I'm not rude, disre like very, very loving because that's my thing, you know? So, okay, um, I need to hear that because I found your YouTube channel a few weeks ago. Thank you, I'm nervous. And it's good to be nervous. That means you care. Just don't do like, don't do this. Well, I, I need to, because you, I need to know everything. Just start here at winnerswaybook.com. Start at winnerswaybook.com. You don't need to know everything, I promise you. They want to pay me $100 an hour W-2, but I want to ask them to hire my LLC. Merciful, tell them that you want them to pay you $175 an hour, 1099, and you will live the life of an, of an employee on their behalf. You will live life like an employee, but you will not be an employee. I love this, let me give you a heart. Okay. Bro, I literally make 300K a year and find that really hard to live in the United States. Well, Joshua, where do you live? What part of the United States? And also, I understand. I vote Miami Beach. What's up, Kizzy? I'm late to the party. Let's go. What's up, Freddie? Don't forget, I'll be on um, TikTok at 11. Uh, 11 Eastern time. So it's uh, 9 my time. <laughs> Anytime, Kenosha, I'm going to keep doing them more and more and more. I mean, as long as you know I'm not out doing my thing, you know, I got a life. <laughs> uh, do you have to tell the government you're subcontracting? Uh, Goodwin, Godwin, not unless they ask. Like, I don't, you don't really have to. And thank you all for the badges. Don't forget, thumbs up, share, all of those kinds of things. Hit the notification, the hearts. Okay. A book with life story. I didn't answer that. So the first chapter is my story. You can see my little family photo. So my family story's in here. And you see baby Kizzy, that's me at Patrick Air Force Base in the research directorate. I mean, it's all in here. There's amazing things in here. Yours truly in Hawaii, because we have employees in Hawaii. We have a contract there. How long, okay, got that. Okay. Okay, um, RFSG, how do you handle quotes where there's a huge amount? So this is perfect. This came up in my Facebook group. Somebody was like, millions of dollars for some socks. Well, if you're providing socks to the Department of Defense and most people have two feet, there's a lot of socks and there's a lot of people in the Department of Defense. So how do you handle it money-wise? Then you're gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna have to do um, a line of credit or take out a loan with the, the supplier, the manufacturer. You have to financially make sure you can supply what it is that they're looking, excuse me, to buy. Topo Chico makes me burp, but man, I love some Topo Chico. Do we add the sums number? No, listen, listen, y'all. This is a good one. Marissa and everybody else. Winnerswaybook.com, winnerswaybook.com. Whenever, so you as the prime with your cage code, it goes through you. So here's a great, I'm telling y'all, Amazon. Okay, so y'all know I'm sober, 11 years. This is just a run-of-the-mill wine glass. So let's say you're like, man, I need some wine glasses. I'm gonna have, I wanna have wine for Easter for spring, for graduation, for my birthday, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for New Year's. Let me get some wine glasses off of Amazon. When you check out whose name is on the receipt, Amazon. Now, this may, these may come from a third party provider. You may get a box that says glorious glasses and you're like, oh, okay, that's cool, it don't matter. Or it may come in that Amazon box or the Amazon pack with a little tape on it. Either way, the party who's responsible is Amazon. That's who you're dealing with. The government's the same. When you submit a bid, 
is going through your company. You are the prime. That's who you're submitting it as. If you submit the information under the subcontractor, like contact them, contact them, contact them, then why are they giving you the contract? Okay, I sold used books on Amazon for four years. Not one person looked at my company who was actually selling them through Amazon. Okay, about the past performance, if I don't have any, you use the past performance of your subs if they ask for it. If we get your book on Amazon, does it come with bonus materials? Charmaine, it does not. But you're welcome to get it on Amazon. Will I be notified when the solicitation is awarded? No, not always. Oh, so we write the proposal like we're the sub, but with our business. Bingo. That's exactly what you do, Godwin. That's, a, that's the American way. I would say it's the way across the world. You go to a hotel, you assume all those people work for Hyatt, Hilton, Marriott. You go to TSA, what do you assume? Oh, they work for TSA. Oh, I call the IRS. They don't work for the IRS. <laughs> we make assumptions. Psychologically, we do it because it fits. It fits the story. It fits our schema. That's not how it works. Oh, I just got my Amazon package. Uh, they don't work for Amazon. I saw the Hawaii pick in my book in your book. Thank you, John. Yeah. I love that hotel too. It's one of my favorites. Uh hello, I just purchased your book. Thanks for information. Anytime. Do we okay, got it. Let me see what else. I may go in a second. Not yet, I, but I, I do need a bio break. David, I submitted a proposal today and just mentioned one time that I partnered with Blank and the rest was my company. There you go. That's beautiful. <laughs> What do we do after we win a contract? So let me hit the topic of this live and then I'll go into it. So remember, it's about what do I sell? Okay, got it. So you've gone into what you sell. Like you, you have it, you have an idea, you're bidding, you're overcoming your fear, boom, celebration, you won. So when you won, you want to have a internal kickoff call. Number one, like, hey, what do I need to do? Who, do I need to contact the sub? Like you're taking care of everything on your back end. Uh, GovCon Winner's Way, you can go to winnerswaybook.com, winnerswaybook.com, and you can go to Amazon. Also, as a bonus, May 11th, I'm having a meet and greet, kind of like a TikTok live in live, live in person, Dallas, uptown area, May 11th. It'll probably be 1230 to four. <laughs> There's no charge if you want to come. That's the only place, no other city. So you have an internal kickoff call, so you have everything straight. Simultaneously, you have a kickoff call with the government to just to verify, okay, so you want me to do this cement slab? This is the, we need to have badges. You need the name of this. What else do you need? Okay, according to the contract, I need to register in wide area workflow. Is that correct? And then do, should I also send you a copy of the invoice? So you're checking and then you may ask them, okay, how do you want me to follow up uh, after, as we're completing this slab? And they may say, oh, just, you know, send a picture, do this. Who knows? They'll let you know. What's key is you keep in communication with them because that's called your management approach. You want to, it would be like you hire somebody to fix something in your house and then they just, they only tell you it's done or they leave your door unlocked or it's messy and you're like, wow, what happened? So you don't want that. You want to, to leave things in an amazing way. SDVOV status just makes you eligible to bid on certain contracts, but the playing field is even with that set aside. Um, James, I would say SDVOSB is predominantly for the VA, and if you really know how to work it and do practice dialing for dollars and all those other things, you can make it work. Can you please explain a little more about subcontracts to present together? Wouldn't they see the name of the other company? Joanna, I suggest you get TikTok and you join the live at 11. I'm going to answer that here, but I really suggest you do that. USA spending's fine. So the government just needs you to do the thing. So, you know, so what I'll put is like K Parks Consulting, KPC, we're partnering with Next Gen 7. Uh, here's a little bit about them. And we're a great fit. And then the KPC team is going to be able to meet and exceed all expectations for this opportunity. And then from then on, it's the KPC team. Like it's, it's like, it's, it, it's a non-issue. I want to bid on local contracts, blah. They start with 80 locks and change it to all locks. I asked how many locks there need to be done now, but no response. Keep calling and emailing. Keep calling and emailing, Tiffany, guess. Give them options. 
hey, here's for 80 locks. If you want 80 plus, it's this. If you want over 500, it's this. Like think in terms of like how it is when we buy stuff in bulk. If you want less than 80, it's this. You may have to be creative. You give them the pricing. If you buy more than, if there's over 500 locks, you get a 10% discount. Chance, it'll say in there if it is or isn't. Sometimes it may say you cannot subcontract, state and local and federal. Otherwise, you can subcontract. Loyalty, you tend to have to have money unless you have a good agreement, a good, um, <laughs> sorry, y'all, my, 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 you, you, a good deal. That's the word I was looking for. If you have a good deal, so listen to me, you need a thousand water bottles. Cause, cause here, I'm gonna show y'all. Cause you know, I'm in Mexico. Wait a minute, can't, is it that way? Okay, right? Those are empty. So let's say they need a thousand of those. I don't know what they cost in US. I think in pesos, it's like 150 pesos per bottle. And they're, you're like, man, a thousand of those. I don't know if I have the money to pay for a thousand. So you contact the water supply company. You hopefully have done this beforehand. And you're like, listen, the government agency needs a thousand of these. Um, is there any way I can pay you after I'm paid? Or maybe you say, listen, I can put down a, a deposit of $500. I can put down a deposit of 200. They may say, don't worry, we got a program. Just fill out this form and we'll run your credit. And then you may be like, no, nah, no, my credit's a 350. Okay, then you still negotiate. Can I give you $200? Can I give you whatever? And they may say yes. Or you say, look, why don't we do net 30 and then I'll tack on an extra 2%. So that's how you get out of the cash, but you, you have to negotiate. You got to come up with a deal. People aren't just sitting around like, yes, you don't have to pay me for a while. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it just isn't human nature. You know, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just letting you know. Okay, let's see what other questions and then I'm going to go. I don't know. I mean, I remember my credit score once was low. I feel like it was 500, 475 back in the day, like a long time ago, y'all. Because I'm 28 for life, but you know, back when I was seven and a half. Are there contracts to secure transport transporting documents? There's a few. What's the most recent contract? Uh, Chris. Uh, well, there's a few. So we won a contract for training uh, this, uh, radical collaboration training, our profit was 20%. Each of those courses are, they range from 20 to 30 something thousand, but the profits 20% regardless of the price. We also, um, an option year was, um, extended on one of our religious contracts. I think the percentage on that one might be break even 5%, 10%, just because the team took one of my instructions and really ran with it. Uh, what's the other one? There's another, well, we didn't recently win that one. That's just being paid out. I'm trying to see what else. That's it for now. We're waiting to hear back about a staffing one. And also I'm not bidding as much. I'm actually um, expanding my team to bid more. It was purposeful. Okay. So we just had the option year extended like a couple days ago. I posted an image on the Facebook group. The radical collaboration we won the end of last year, something like that. How do you get credit if you are a new company? Maria, it's based on you. And I know for some of you, you're like, hold on, well, it's business credit. It shouldn't be based on you. It should be based on your business. It's based on both, but predominantly you because you're the owner of the business. And your story and what kind of bank you're dealing with or financial institute. Um... April, they're BSing you. Every time I apply for any type of credit, they're never like, nah, we don't want your social security number. That's garbage. <laughs> they never say that, ever. In Dallas, how can I get to meet and greet? Loyalty, um, email Melody, melody at kizzyparks.com. Melody at kizzyparks.com. And it'll be, um, what did I say? May 11th, probably 1230 to four, something like that. Uh, Unison. I actually have to go in there. I'm gonna have to do it tonight. Ugh. I'm putting in a, a quote for the chairs. There's a few things I need to 
um, fill out. Thank you, goddess of night. Goddess of night. Yeah, the lives are lit. I don't be playing with these lives. TikTok, 11 p.m. will be my live. How do I approach subcontractor? We already talked about that. Let me go vroop, scroll random. I watch you on 325 to register and got my cage code yesterday. Look at that. Love them. Look, that's a photo right there and this badge, both y'all. That's amazing, y'all. That's amazing. And you know what it says? It says that SAM.gov has really caught up. They've smoothed out their processes and procedures. I'm so proud of you all. I'm so proud of you. Uh, NAX equals NAV. Okay. Um, thanks for answering questions. Got it. How do I take advantage of the book offer as a first timer that I offered a few weeks ago? Uh, are you talking about the, to write the review? Just send an email to Melody at KinseyParks.com and just tell her, like, like, take a picture of this and be like, she said it was okay. Do you know anything about instant market? What, what do you mean by instant market? I feel like instant potatoes, instant coffee. Tell me about this instant market. Um, how do you get, oh, we talking about what happened with the furniture? So simply, I have to add more information because I don't think the vendor gave me everything, which is fine. So I'm going to need to um, complete the Buy American form. And then I don't think they gave me the setup fees. So I'm just winging it. I'm just, I have their pricing and then I'm just going to add and see what happens. At the end of the day, I'm not concerned about them delivering because I know the person who owns it. But I also, I personally didn't want to like reach out to him and, and be like, fill this out because I'm just doing this for the sake of doing it, which may seem flippant, which it could be, but I'm, I'm not like caught up in it. My bank wants to give me a credit card for my business. Do you think it's helpful? Yes. When's your course coming out? Steve, uh, well, somebody's got to review the sales pages named Kizzy Parks. <laughs> I've been going to sleep at two since I started. Marissa, I'm the same way. I'm like, my, and then it's funny because, yeah, it's funny. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I, it is nuts. I think it was a bit at three and I work out every day at 10, 10 a.m. Cause y'all told you I'm, I'm, I'm not playing with the fitness. Nate, Nate dog, I haven't seen you forever. I'm, I'm sorry, Kizzy. When I read your GovCon book, I, oh, wow. Okay, Nate dog, that's. That was a little intense. I'm glad I didn't read anymore because I don't want to have this video taken down. You should talk about emails that you get in spam about scammers. So the best thing, <laughs> y'all crack me up. The um, best way to handle that is if it's, if when you put your cursor over the email, if it doesn't say .gov or it just seems too good to be true, it probably is, feel free to post it in the Facebook group. I know. Norva, I felt the same way. I feel like nobody else got that, but Lord. So um, here's the deal. You have companies that are for profit. So as soon as you get registered, they're ding. So they're going to contact you. You want some no bid contracts? You want a GSA schedule? You want some coffee, teas, crumpets? We got you. So you have that. Then you have people that are straight frauds, like in the video with arson. Check out my video on arson. Please like this, share this, heart it, all that stuff. So with the video with arson, I've had that happen to me where they send you, hey, we wanna buy this from you. That's not how the government buys. But because you're new, you wouldn't know and it looks legit. So sometimes you just gotta ask in the Facebook group. It would be nice if I could pay for assistance. Understood, what is your TikTok name? Kizzy Parks and I have a little over 15,000 um, followers on there. You can't miss me, Kizzy Parks, but it's the one with 15,000. I do have fake TikTok accounts, which cracks me up, y'all. When I think about things in my life, I'm like, I have fake TikTok accounts. Really? That woman who was like once passed out because she drank so much at Universal. She passed out in a wheelchair. This is nuts. And that's why I'm sober. Can you use AI to respond to solicitation? Yeah, you can definitely use AI. I've used it many times. Is it possible to sell the, to the government from another country? Yes. I'm glad the Condon Network. How do you feel about third-party proposal writers? As long as they know what they're doing. Why not? As long as they know what they're doing. If you want your question answered immediately, buy a badge. I'm gonna hop off in probably two minutes. So, wow, this has been amazing. It's been an hour. I have to actually do some work. When you sell products to the government, how do you comply with military packaging? John, join my Facebook group. There is a ton of responses on there for free. I don't sell through dibs. I don't like dibs, so I can't, I've never done that. Have I sold products to the government? Yes, I sold Oculus headsets to the USDA and to the Air Force. But go on, I'm glad you got the starter kit, Harvest. Um, while Nate dog, sometimes that happens. They're busy. 
They don't want to respond to all these email. Uh, Quinn, we staff IT positions. Joe, it requires contractors and all subs to submit certified payroll covering payments to laborers. How should I approach that? Does it conflict with showing the money? Joe, who is this for? Who Who's that for? I love the hands, Frederick or Freddie. Are there many contracts for software companies? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think on how to best answer that. Yes, and there's it depends. We're looking for a team and proposal writing and bidding. How should offer pay? Um, right now we're doing a percentage. They get a percentage of the wins. You can't avoid workers comp. It's part of when you have employees, you got to do it. Thank you, and Guiano Pro. I love you too. You're sweet. Hey, I'm not sure what you meant by the comment you said before. I'm curious, what do you think your course is coming out? Because I haven't reviewed our sales pages and I need to do what I need to do or we can't have a course come out. That's what I meant, Steve. Yours truly has to review the stuff to put on our sales page. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm dragging my feet. It's just me. It's just, it's just me. Like it, it, it's gonna, I promise you, you know? You know, it's, ain't nothing else to say, y'all. And it's been an emotional week, like for real. Like I, there's, anyways, I'll just say there's been something that I have been dealing with for well over a year. It's not anything to publicly ever talk about. And it has weighed on me. And I came across a person who was able to help me like that. So it's been an emotional day. Like this is, this is very, um, it's very God sent, very, I'm very blessed. I had my one meal. So I'm processing that, trying not to cry and um, make plans for the weekend. Send an email to melody at kizzyparks.com. That's the fastest way to reach us. Melody at kizzyparks.com. So um, yeah, so I have stuff I got to do. You know, and I gotta like, I wanna go to Isla Mujeres. Like I haven't been there yet. I just wanna like do stuff. Like I am doing stuff. I'm going to Playa tomorrow night for like a personal thing. And then I was like, man, I feel like I should go to Cancun or something like that. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, so it's so, then it's like, man, and then the reviewing sales pages, I realize it's very draining for me. And so I told my team like, I need to hand this over to you. And that's also a big thing for me because I was I was the person who had a scarcity mindset, didn't want to delegate, was always busy, 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 working, working, working. I mean, come on. Overworking is a trauma issue. That's what it is. It stems from life trauma. And it's okay if you don't agree with me on what I'm saying. You know, I am Dr. Parks. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Melody, M-E-L-O-D-Y. She's also in the Facebook group. So the Facebook group, thank you so much, Joel. I really appreciate that. I truly appreciate all of you. And the reason I share so much with you all is because I want you to realize this isn't just, hey, you get some contracts and boom, your life takes off. You know, I had a, a really cool conversation with somebody and this person was like, you know, happiness is so vital. And they, and they were like, think of it. They were like, there are these billionaires out there who are very unhappy. And then there are people who are extremely impoverished and are super happy. And especially living here in Mexico and Tulum, where I see communities, I, I call them illegal communities. I think they're called illegal settlements. And it's like, I see these illegal settlements settlements that look like something out of a, you know, please send money for this children ad. No disrespect to legal settlements. I'm just trying to paint a picture. Run with me, y'all. Don't judge me. So it's like I go through, I see, and I'm like, nobody, I don't get the vibe because, you know, I can read energy. I don't get the vibe that people are sad. It doesn't come across as sad. It, it is very jarring to see like illegal settlement and then like condo 2024, 23, 25 condo here. It's just very like, wow, that's, that's different. And it's like, I think a lot about what that person said. And for me, the happiness is so important. And so I like to share this because I was very unhappy for up until recently, y'all. So it's important to share because you can win all the contracts, you can do whatever, be whatever, but if you're unhappy or you're doing some stuff you hate, then what? It just sounds horrible. Okay, so I appreciate you. I appreciate you all allowing me to have this side note. I will be on 
11 your time. It might be 10, it might be 1130 because it's nine my time right now. So it might be closer to 1130. When is the video with the realtor coming out? I know I can't wait, ready, Freddie. I don't know, my team will put it out. What did you do to get rid of the scarcity mindset? No, it was during winning contracts. That's why I didn't win as many as I could have. Um, I did a lot of work. I have put, I'm telling you, so much work. I mean, man, from coach, PR, inner child um, workshop, inner teen workshop, conjure workshop, coming here, spiritual advisors. I mean, a lot of work. A lot of work. But the most important is self-love, trust, and other things around that. Uh, reputation management. Ah, uh, cyber, you know, they have, they do a PR. Um, oh, I forgot her first name. I forgot her first name. Maybe somebody remembers. There's a woman who I interviewed who has an 8A and she has like a PR contract. I know you put reputation management, but that, that's as close as I can get right now. So check it out, cyber groupie. I... I don't remember her name. Like if you go, just go on the Jesus is the answer. I mean, of course, Jesus. I mean, that's a huge part is, is God's spirit. Okay, if you do a contract for a rental office for the government, does the government pay you monthly? So Chance, you're gonna find out in the video that I launched that she got paid all up front. I think it depends. I think probably some contracts won't. I think some contracts will. Okay, so let me just do a scroll. Oop, that's not it. Okay, good. Okay. They were asking for computers. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I will be on TikTok probably a little after 1130 Eastern time. Um, an updated special notice. April means like they updated a special notification that they posted. A special notice is like, a, a, like they're giving you like a breaking news bulletin. I wouldn't, who's Noel Randall? I don't know, who is Noel Randall? Nate, do I know her? Should I know her? Um, so April, I wouldn't like look at those unless it was a notice that you're interested in. Just focus on solicitations and combine synopsis. Blessings from Philly to Dr. Parks and everyone, we win. That's right, Harvest. But it says it's the notice type. I know, but you don't need to look at special notifications. You should be looking at solicitations and combined, combined. Yeah, I don't know who Noel Rand Randall is. I don't know that person. I bet they're amazing. This is no disrespect. I'm just saying, you know, I don't know who they are. I thought maybe they lived here in Tulum or something. Do you have a template for long-term contracts? Cooper Wood, every, ooh boy, we almost broke the glass. We cannot break the glass. Every opportunity requires a different kind of proposal. Do you have a template? So the answer is yes and. Okay, I see a good, yeah. Combined synopsis is like, can the, but whatever. And then, um, James, I love you, you're funny. And uh, solicitation. Thank you, Joe. That's right. Go Lions. Y'all, before you know it, it's going to be football season. That means I'm going to have to bring my hat. And then in the summer, I'm going to do a little filming in Michigan. So my lion will be behind me. I couldn't have any lion stuff here right now. I just, I was a little, I was a little, I'm not going to lie. I was salty. I mean, the lions always piss me off and whatever. But I was like, dang, we were so close. And then it didn't happen. And I was like, and so I left my hat in my Miami Beach place. So I'm okay now. I'm back at it. I don't know, Nate Dog. Good luck with that. Um, but we are going to make it. So we are going to go to the Super Bowl. And I will go to the Super Bowl. And we're going to go. I have faith. I'm manifesting it. Wow. Leo, you like the Bills? My friend from college likes the Bills. I actually saw the Bills play Miami. I just told my wife Kizzy loves me. Please, please don't say too much. I don't need somebody trying to hunt me down. Ravens, Chiefs. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean cap? What you, what are you saying cap about, Norva? Elliot. I mean, they did, but they, they were so... I'm with you. Can I get it? Ugh. Cowboys. Y'all are delusional. Cowboys ain't going to be doing nothing. So I'm not going to say anything else except 
Hold on. When they make the Super Bowl, we can meet up at the game for business. Yeah, when the Lions beat the Super Bowl, Eagle yeah, Eagles. Still doing the courses. If so, is it everything you need to know for... Um, yeah, I mean, it depends on which course. Uh, pfft, cowgirls, dang. That's okay, Norva. The, the cowboy. I mean, the Lions are going. The Cowboys aren't. The Raiders aren't. The Lions will. And just remember that. Remember that. You want me, here, I'm gonna you want me to take your screenshot? Remember it. I said it first. In my blue. In my blue. The Lions are going to the Super Bowl. 2020. I mean, it's technically 24, but it's 25. You know what I mean? 2025. We going to the Super Bowl. And when it happens, I don't need anything. I don't need you to say, wow, Kizzy was right. Wow, Kizzy's hair is always popping. You know, what I need you to say is, man, I was able to win a profitable government contract because of Kizzy. I took action. That's all. That's it. I do like the Bears, but y'all ain't going to the Super Bowl anytime soon. Uh, at least you know which one of us are fans. I know. Yeah, I'm in Mexico. Does the government function? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I just I just keep my nose clean and uh, behave. Thank you, Fem Oho. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to bet you when Miami play Lions, my cousin play for the Lions. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, Lions, they're going to crush Miami if they play each other. Where do we sign up for the courses? Flying Potato. Email melody at kizzyparks.com. Melody, M-E-L-O-D is in David Y. Melody at kizzyparks.com. Um, I think that's it. Check those odds. I'm working on winning a government contract hiring nursing. Well, Nate, do you need the resumes of the nurses? If you don't need the resumes, then don't about it. Okay, y'all are amazing. So again, before I cut away, winnerswaybook.com, winnerswaybook.com. I know the screen is reversed. Listen, this is a new thing for YouTube. I'm very grateful for the badges, for your questions, for you being here. I'm so grateful because you could be doing anything else. You could be watching Netflix. You could be watching more on YouTube, but you chose to come here and invest in yourself. So that means the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be on TikTok at 11.30 Eastern. I go live on Facebook pretty much every day during the week. And TikTok is only Monday through Thursday. I also do my big live here on YouTube on Sundays. It, there isn't an exact set time. And then just Sunday, somebody might, you know, we don't know what we do on this Sunday. So it's, it's, it's based on my life. So, you know, the beautiful thing about here on YouTube, all my lives are saved. Um, on TikTok, they are not saved. On Facebook, they are saved. And Instagram, I go live every now and again, okay? So again, thank you all. As you already know, lines are going to Super Bowl. But most importantly, there's no reason you can't win a contract within the next listen. I'm, I'm going to put this out there. I may even do a contest. You know how people do like eight weeks, transform your body, Phoenix method, you know, whatever weeks. Get a sale or I don't know. I know about the fitness ones. I may have to do like a mini challenge, like not just a five day challenge, but like an eight week challenge. Like in seriously, there's no reason you can't win a contract fast. There isn't. It's just about the actions that you take. That's it. How do I know this? One of my students just won two contracts with me. Come on. In less than a month. I just want to say you have given me the push. I needed to launch myself independently after oh, so many years. Listen, Nikki, listen. Let me take a photo and I'll tell y'all something before I go. Listen, y'all. If I had a background in real estate, I would spend... I like that eight-week challenge. That's a good idea, Cooper would. I would spend every waking hour on Sam.gov and looking for commercial real estate and getting in with some obscure agency where it's like, oh, what do y'all need? You need you need some temporary housing? You need hotel? You what, what else you need? What 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 else y'all y'all need some hotels? You need you need an office building? And I would be on Google Maps and Google Earth. I people would be tired of me. They'd be like, Are you that woman that keeps calling about commercial real estate? That's what I would do. Because most people don't. They they tip, they put like the toe in, and then it's like, oh, I didn't win. I don't want to do this. Whoa, really? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, everything is possible, y'all. It's for real. I don't just say it. It's for real because I know. What should we perf uh, use the subs? You got okay, do it. I'm waiting for that affirmation audio. I know. I got it. I, I feel like I'm going to sell something with that. I don't know what it's going to be. I would, my YouTube coach was like, nah, you need to just stick to this. I mean, I do agree with him. I know I did my side eye. You know, I love him. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be doing all this. So, but I do because the, 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 the motivation, the inspiration, manifesting, oof, that's my stuff, y'all. I'm a master manifester. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a master manifester. Did I ever tell y'all how I manifested being on a jury? That's not for today. It'll be for another day. I manifested jury duty. I can manifest. So I'm manifesting. I have a list on my wall over here. So it's a combination of goals things I'm manifesting and I put it out there with my trainer. I talked to her. We were talking about some things today and I was like, listen, this is what we're going to manifest. I said, you want this. I want that. And I talk about it a lot. Um, Nate dog. I, it says a two bedroom, um, Airbnb. Okay. Yes. April, I do Reiki, Reiki. I did Reiki on Monday with my favorite girl. Okay. Okay. Thank you, April. And I love that. Let me take a photo so I remember this. Okay. Because everything I put out is for y'all. It's like the song. Everything I do, I do it for you. Like, for real. This is not about Kizzy Parks. It's about what's best for everyone here. Okay, let me see one more thing. Cool, cool, cool. Y'all are amazing. What's... Oh, Elaine! Elaine, y'all. Elaine and I met here in Mexico. We met the first time in Playa. So y'all are in for a treat. Elaine actually knows me in IRL, in real life. I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Elaine does website development. She does branding. She's really cool. She's really motivated. She's entrepreneurial. Uh, you're in Canada, I believe. You know, if you want to share anything cool, if you don't, that's cool too. Um, I am following the Eddie Abnew diet. So just look up Eddie Abnew on uh, TikTok, Instagram, and you'll know exactly what I'm doing. Uh... Okay. Wow, Nate Dog is Nate Dog is on fire today. Nate Dog is quoting Doja Cat and stuff. And man, Ooh. I was listening to um, Drake and and J Cole. I don't really listen to them a lot because I, I I've been I don't know my music is all over the place. But man, Drake and, and J Cole and Drake are really good. I feel like. Where was I? I was like, you missed that wave, Kizzy. I know they're touring right now. But anyways, I love all kinds of music, everyone. Especially hip-hop and rap. Ooh, I love rap so much. SDVOSB. I am a lyricist. I do, you know, I may not know all the lyrics to everything. I can't really, you know, debate. No, Little Baby. I don't really, you know, I can't really talk. I don't really listen to his music. I used to listen to Baby a lot. I saw him in concert twice. But... Some lyrics I definitely know more than others, like Cardi and Megan and um, Glorilla. I really like Glorilla. When will you have your event in Tulum? Lisa, that's a great question. I don't know. Uh, I listen to Afrobeats, but not like a lot, unless it's somewhere. Like they just had a con an Afrobeats thing here. I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. Like, uh, yeah, definitely. You're sweet on match. No, there's lots of layers, but... I, no, I love Kendrick Lamar. I love him. But you gotta, I gotta mix it up. I gotta have that femininity. Like it's, a lot of, a lot of men, a lot of men will wrap around the same, about the same things. And I'm just like, I, I really can't. I need depth. I need creativity. So I'll leave you with this. One of my favorite songs is Mona Lisa. That song has so much creativity and depth and it's, and it's so Miami. I love that song so much. I'm not, you, you know, the, the, the acts described in that song can be very bad, but it's a very, um, I love that song. Uh, it's old, I know it's an old song, but I really, really like Mona Lisa and I love Lil Wayne, y'all. Oh my goodness, do I love Lil Wayne. 
Well, what do you mean that's why you math? So I'm going to go now. Thank you all for being here. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button. Any of you who are like, I don't know when you go live, hit the notification button here on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I don't know if LinkedIn has notification. I go live on LinkedIn. Elaine, wow, thank you for the mention. And where do I even begin? Your dedication, kizzy, passion, and tireless effort in building this incredible community have not gone unnoticed. Man, girl, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. I can't wait to see you, girl. You need to come back. Please come back to Playa. We hung out. We hung out up the hotel, up on the rooftop and stuff. Please come back. I'm going to Playa tomorrow, girl. I wish you lived here full time. But I'm going to manifest that you're here. Um, from the song, some ladies love cool James for you. Okay. Hair is on point. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. It's a little, like I went for a couple, like a walk. So it's a little more humid. I had like a really big meeting today. It was really like stressful, but beautiful day. So, um, you know, so I didn't put a lot. My point is I didn't put a lot of product to minimize like frizz because I knew I wasn't going to be out a lot. Okay. I think this is it. I can't wait to hear more about the challenge. Uh, Joel, yes, I know about all those people. And you all are amazing. TikTok, 1130-ish your time. And then you won't hear from me again till Sunday. And thank yourselves. Winnerswaybook.com. Don't forget, winnerswaybook.com. May 11th, meet up in Dallas. May 11th, no fee. We will have some kind of page or something for you to register. If you can make it, cool. If you can't make it, that's not, that's cool too. Carrie's cat who's on here, she made it. I know she had fun because if she didn't, she would have been like, block. I ain't never listening to Kizzy's and again. Thank you all. You're amazing. Everything is possible. Bye, y'all. Oh, hot. I'm like, bye, and I don't know how to stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just in Utah. Bye, you guys. How do I end this?